What up, Fudger Nation? We're back with another episode of Sneaker Fudgers Fast Break. And to continue our topic, uh, today we're going to discuss the Northwest Division. Alright, so this is your host, H. Mamba. This is Big Daddy G. And this is Martin Andrew. And let's get to it. Let's get to it. Indeed. Alright, and for our first team, we're going to discuss the Denver Nuggets. So, sino-sino ba yung mga notable na nawala sa kanila? Well, unang-una, they lost Paul Millsap, na is now playing for the Brooklyn Nets. Tapos, they lost key players, road players lang naman, si Javel Magui, tapos si Austin Rivers, and then Shaquille Harrison, and, and so on and so forth. But I think all those moves were made to accommodate din yung pag-resign nila kay Michael Porter Jr. to this MPJ. mass massive contract, diba? Na may uh-huh. bonuses that would lead up to a max of around north of 207 million pag na-reach na lahat ng accolades na yun. And of course, they got Jeff Green. Diba? Uncle Jeff. So, what do you think, guys? What, what's the outlook for this team this season? Yes, for me, I think uh, nasa top 5 pa rin tong Denver Nuggets. And uh, of course, uh, fresh from his um, MVP stint, the Joker. Medyo Ooh. babawi yan this season, I believe. Uh, considering also yung kanilang uh, somewhat, somewhat uh, low-end additions, yun nga, kagaya ng na-mention ni H. Mamba earlier, I think it's sufficient enough. And um, the up-and-coming talent, of course, of MPJ, uh, something to look forward to. And uh, I think yung injuries... Uh, kay Jamal Murray. Yun yung, I think, magiging uh, biggest hindrance for, for them this season. Pero, Totoo nandun pa rin sila. Ha? Nandun pa rin sila sa top ah. So, so feeling of, mo, papalag mm, pa rin kahit may Jamal yes, Murray. Yes, palagers pa rin to. Eh, joker eh. Oh, eh Mainit okay. yan sa fantasy, okay. di ba? Speaking oh, of okay. fantasy, Big Daddy G, what's your take? Okay, One, so yan na. Napag-usapan nga natin si Joker. So, para sa akin, siya ang first uh, pick overall pa rin. Dahil para sa center position, Meron ka ng assist, meron kang uh, points, field goal, three points. Halos lahat ginagawa na niya. So talagang mm-hmm. ang all nine category. So talagang siya talaga yung number. And wala na si Jamal Murray. So Run yung away, yung no? talaga, sa kanya talaga yan. So last time na kompleto niya, 72 games. Tingnan natin yan kung makompleto niya. For our second round, try natin si ano, uh, Michael Porter Jr. Really? So, Pakanda rin to. So kung kailangan niyo ng mga three points, points, rebounds, the usual... Uh, uh, efficient, maganda efficient niya kaya na mataas ang ano nito ang for uh, second round pick. And for the others naman, si uh, mga notable lang dito siguro si Aaron Gordon, si si Aaron Gordon, si Barton, and kung kailan yun ang pinaka late na point guard kailan si uh, Monte Morris. Monte. Alright. Okay. 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 Okay, so okay, uh, wala namang kaming additions doon, uh, but I think yung Michael Porter Jr. sa second down is a bit of a reach for me, even though Yahoo was, I think, overrating him sa mga rankings. And all in all, wala naman, agree sa mga sinabi mo, Big Daddy G. So I guess that's it for the Denver Nuggets. All right, and then for our next team, the Minnesota Timberwolves. Notable losses, wala naman. It's a backup big lang at Davis. And uh, for the others, wala naman. Hindi naman sa kawalan. And then for the signings, wala rin major uh, superstar or star additions or even role players. Aside from uh, Patrick Beverly, na I think is a good um, uh, veteran presence. Kasi we all know that the Minnesota Timberwolves are an up-and-coming team. They have Anthony Edwards, which I think is a future all-star already. Uh, playing like it nung last part nung season. And then D'Lo, Carl Anthony Towns, Malik Beasley. Ganda, ganda. Sarap panoorin ito. Pero mm-hmm. what do you think, Martin, sa ano? The healthy so, rules. For them, I do not see them to be a playoff team. Play-in, siguro. Pasok sila doon. Uh, young, young and upcoming team nga. So, exciting to watch. Uh, having said yung uh, young core nila, Anthony Edwards. So, runner-up to Rookie of the Year last year. Uh, yes. Behind Lamelo, right? So, so oh, my vote sport. was Anthony. Yeah, yeah. for me also. <laughs> for pero... me, Anthony, talaga lang Roy, eh, not Lamelo. Mm-hmm. Pero, mm-hmm. Um... So, mataas yung expectation kay Anthony Edwards. So, I'm seeing na siya pa yung magiging key star player ng Minnesota. Maybe they could trade uh, Kat in the oh, future, right? Oh, so, pero yun. It's a bold prediction. Yes, sir. <laughs> Fantasy-wise, Big Daddy G, what do you think? Okay, syempre, for our first pick, syempre, sure yan, si Carl Anthony Towns. Carl so, Anthony Towns. ko, babawi ngayon yan. So, sa, ano nga, sa fantasy ngayon, medyo scarcity yung big man eh. So, para sa big man, mataas yung three-point attempt niya. 
kumpleto na halos lahat. Wala lang talaga siyang skills. Pero lahat ng categories... Pero you can't have it all, diba? Center na lang si grabe na yun. Para sa fantasy, first pick na yan. Huwag kayong matakot, nasa 7 siya eh, sa Yahoo. Third, fourth, kung siya, kunin niyo na siya. And then right. si Anthony Edwards, yung nasabi niyo nga. So, uh, siguro mga, pwede rin, mga third or fourth round din eh. Maganda rin ang future niya. So, depende kung anong kailangan niyo. Pero ito, alam ko, mas ma-points din naman siya. Tsaka, ma- may skills din, athletic eh. And then si Dilo, si D'Angelo Russell, baka rin mag-redeem din. Uh, three points, kung kailangan niyo na three points, and free throw, and unting assist. Tapos yan, yung mga hugot, sila Michael Beasley. And, uh, Malik yan. Beasley. <laughs> iba yun, iba yung Michael, Michael Beasley. Beasley. Like so, si M, yan. Si MBC, yan. So, kayo, kayo <laughs> kung may naisip na mga magic hugot. Wala naman. Pero si McDaniels, Mac, Mac I think, uh, pag binigyan to ng play time, he doesn't need the ball too much. He can give you like two steals, two blocks a game with a trickle of rebounds. FG, diba? boards and uh, points guy. Uh, so, pwede rin, pwede rin. Late, uh, late round flyer. Mm-hmm. And uh, something, ano, yung name na medyo nag-tickle uh, sa aking mata. Kinawa pala nila si Leandro Baldemor. <laughs> si Leandro Baldemor? <laughs> si ni- <laughs> Hindi, si Leandro Bulmaro, Bulmaro bro, pala. Bulmaro, Bulmaro. 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 Okay, Bulmaro. sige. Alright, and that's it for the Minnesota Timberwolves. All right, and now for our third team, the Portland Trailblazers. Oh, I love this team. Uh, game time, of course, is some, something to watch for every night. Uh, key losses, however, uh, they got uh, they lost Carmelo Anthony because he's now rocking my purple and gold. Yes, sir. Tapos Mellow. Ennis Cantor on, um, and RHJ, Ronde Hollis uh, Jefferson. And of course, they gave up on Zach Collins, finally. <laughs> Parang 73 years na siyang injured sa Portland. Eh. So I think it's time to cut him. And then additional naman na nakuha nila for me, I think it's an underrated move. They got Larry Nance. So I think he's a championship caliber type of player na would give you a, a good, um, you know, spark off the bench, uh, do the dirty work, di ba? clean the boards, defend the superstar mm-hmm. of the other team. Tapos um, they got other role players like Cody Zeller. Siguro pang ano kay Merkic kasi medyo enjoy pang backup. And then they signed young guns like Dennis Smith, uh, Marcus Cruz, Chris, and then Tony Snell. Uh, another veteran to probably shore up na nawala yung mga wings ng Portland. So what do you guys think? Is it enough, finally? In my uh, own personal opinion, I think it's not. Uh, they are a playoff team, of course. They are a playoff team. Um, they uh, will be within the eight, uh, top eight ng uh, Western Division. But I'm not seeing them to compete in the finals. You know, I think it's not enough yung kanilang mga addition. And uh, uh, considering Dame to, to to stay longer, medyo loyal lang talaga to si Dame eh. Grabe. So, Grabe. Diba? Sobrang bilib ako sa loyal. Sobrang din. loyal. Medyo mamba. <laughs> diba, diba? So fantasy-wise, Big Daddy G, what do you think? Okay, so yung loyalty na yan, gawin natin uh, first round pick pa rin yan, si Dame Miller. So para sa akin, mid na first, kung kailangan nyo nang gusto nyo, Ang build ng team nyo medyo point guard. Malakas talaga sa 3 points, points, and free throw. Punta kay mga elite talaga yan, si Dame Lillard. Okay, so third pick, scorer pa rin, or free throw, si CJ McCollum. Tapos kailangan nyo ng 3 points, si Norman Powell. Uh, steals blocks, 3 points, na center, si uh, Robert Covington. Rocco! And syempre, oh, huwag natin kalimutan si Nurk. Mga 5th round, 4th round, big man. Nurk alert! Assist, block. Feel goal, yeah, basta lang stay healthy siya. And yes. yung mga magic bonus dyan, si Nance, kung gusto yung i-try, Nance Jr. And uh, sino pa ba? Yun lang, yun lang yung nakikita ko. Kayo ba? Meron wala na masyado, wala na masyado. Okay. I don't even think Cody Seller is gonna contribute sa fantasy mm-hmm. teams this year. Unless otherwise, um, ma-injured si Nurkic. Nurkic goes down. Huwag natin sana. Mas healthy na. Eh, mukhang ba siya si Nurkic ngayon na dahil yung bagong coach daw ay si John C. Villas. Si John C. Villas. He's uh, shooting a lot of threes. Medyo naging bro low ang prototype niya. So, mm-hmm. I don't know. I think it's a good addition sa fantasy perspective as well. Kasi three-point shooting big, ma- big man is ano, rare. Mm-hmm. Correct, correct. I think that's and it. And that's it for the Portland Trailblazers. 
All right, for our next team, the OKC Thunder. Ito medyo batang team na to, young young up and coming team. Uh, they lost uh, Al Horford and then they got Kemba Walker but they waived him. So hindi ko alam, dami na lang pera pang buyout. Dami. And I think they're going to focus on their super young core uh, led by Shea Gilgeous Alexander and they drafted this uh, Josh Giddy. He's impressing this uh, preseason, so let's see kung mag-translate yun sa regular season. And they're gonna give a lot of playing time probably for uh, Alexei Pokushevsky and Lugens Dort, you know, the likes of Isaiah Roby. So, itong mga to, pwede na to mag-import sa ano eh, China or uh, PBA. PBA eh. Pero, <laughs> di natin alam, baka naman, di ba? May atin sa mga bata pa. So, what do you guys think? Yeah, for me, OKC is not a playoff team. Play-in, fringe. So, ano eh, young, young movement din sila eh. So, promising rookie, Josh Gady. May init ang mga mata dyan. Pagsubaybay kay Josh Gady. And of course, SGA. So, siya yung uh, tinuturing ng OKC na ano ngayon. Core. Ng, ng franchise. Okay. So, so, maybe three years, four years, if uh, kung yan talaga yung direction nila with uh, considering yung mga young talent. So, maybe they could uh, reach the playoffs. Uh, Fantasy-wise, Big Dal G, what you think? Mm-hmm. Okay, dito sa OKC, since ito yung uh, tank commander ng team, <laughs> uh, sasuggest ko isa lang, si SGA. Si, si SGA lang. Siya lang SGA talaga. Lang. So, they, also second, got, ano, uh, they also got Derek Favors, pero do you think he would even play? Yun nga eh. Siguro pwede, first half of the season pwede. So ako, siguro second uh, second pick, if unari kailangan nyo na ng point guard, Uh, yun lang, medyo hindi matres si Shai. Medyo ma-assist still. Alo siya kay Shai, wala lang siyang 3 points. So, the rest, okay siya. Pag second round na gusto mo ng point guard, siya kunin niya. And then, sa next, siguro yung mga nako, yun nga, mga nako, picks na lang. Si Alexei Pokosevsky. Sige, tama naman eh. Tama naman, ang same mo naman eh. Si yan, si, G- si Josh Giddy. Mga 5th to 6th round, kung gusto nyo nang i-ano. Tapos yung mga end round, Taka, sila, Oh, Josh tapos si mga ano si Isaiah Roby. Yan, yan yung mga si base si Gord, si Darius, Darius, Darius Basley. Basley. Si Basley yan na ilo base ako niyan Trinidad sa mga liga. <laughs> so <laughs> negative, negative na sa Kayo bahala, yeah. pero malay niyo naman. Okay, All right. Okay. All right, anything to add, Martin? Last rounder siguro, Darius Basley pag wala kang SFPF kasi ano yan eh, scarcity rin yan eh, SFPF ito, position ito, ito. sa. At kung gusto mo rin maging 20% ang field goal mo for the day, kunin mo. Yan. Pag pan-pigol ka pero gusto mo ng rebounds, paulan mo na na points. <laughs> All right. And that's it for the Oklahoma City Thunder. And for our last team, the Utah Jazz. So, sino ba mga notable na nawala sa kanila? Honestly, wala naman. Aside from um, Derek Favors na yun, nga kakasabi lang natin, playing now for OKC, but baka nga iba out siya doon. And then, George Sneang. I, I think it medyo na surprise ako dito kasi he was playing well in the playoffs. A uh, good role player. Tapos pinakawalan. Now he's playing for the Sixers. And then the old guys, uh, Ur- Ursa and Eliasova. But notable additions, they, they added uh, some not so uh, impactful in terms of star power. Pero veteran presence-wise, uh, they got Rudy Gay. Uh, they got Has- Hassan Whiteside. And this one they got from the Golden State Warriors, which I was surprised as well, Eric Pascal. I thought he was a young core na he really has a, the, the talent. Kaya for me, nagulat din ako na pinakawalan mm-hmm. siya ng Warriors just like that without anything in return. Mm-hmm. So what do you guys think of this uh, core lineup of uh, Utah? Donovan, Rudy G, Mike Conley. Yes. Uh, for me, they are still a playoff team. So they could uh, even repeat top five. Maybe. Pwede? Uh, medyo maganda kasi yung sistema ni Coach Quinn Snyder. So, they are playing small ball, pero meron silang depoy, <laughs> di ba? In the middle, mm-hmm. Rudy Gobert. Small ball, pero meron ka namang stifle tower. Right? Yes, sir. And backed up by the huh, hit lifer dati, ni Hassan, White, Hassan Whiteside. <laughs> na nag-attitude sa Miami. <laughs> yeah, kaya be, very disappointed kami. Pero I think uh, yung, yung kanilang mga small addition, I think uh, it will suffice their uh, run for another playoff. Uh, tama, contending tama. season this year. Okay. Tama, tama, tama. Fantasy-wise, Big Daddy G, what's up? Okay, for the fantasy, uh, second round, yung talang top three all-stars, si Donovan Mitchell, tsaka si Rudy Gobert. Okay, so for if you're looking a big big man, medyo na-beaten na kayo, para solid na kayo agad sa big man, elite rebounds and blocks. 
low turnover and field goal Rudy Gobert. And then if you're looking for points, score and uh, assist, ayan, Donovan Mitchell. So yung dalawa lang na yun. So yung the rest, Mike Conley, if you want uh, point guard din sa mga 5th or 6th round kung wala ka nang uh, makuha ang point guard. And uh, si, oh, huwag niyong kalimutan si Bogdan. Bogdanovich. Favorite and, team. Mm-hmm. And syempre, make it rain. And syempre, I love that si Kuya JC. Diba? Ayun, oh, isa pa, si Kabayan. Huwag niyo rin kalimutan. Si Pero, <laughs> yun, pwede niyo siya ni Combo kasi sigurado yung field goal niyo wasak. <laughs> so, pag may Goober ka, pwede, di ba? Medyo pwede. mabugot ni Goober kahit pa pwede, paano. Yun. 7 out of 21 shooting ni JC. Oh, Parang okay. pagpasok pa lang ni JC, wala pang 1 minute na katatlong tres na. Tatlong tres na yun. Yun yung play niya. Tres na yun. <laughs> Alright. Six man of the year. Anything to add, uh, Martin? Uh, si Eric Pascal, medyo na-touch mo. So, may nabasa ako dyan. BFF daw ni ano yan eh ni Donovan Mitchell kaya really? they, they push to get him so ah, may may balak sila ganun. dito eh. so something to watch for okay okay I see all right uh, so yun let's see so that's it uh for for the Northwest Division see you on our next segment the Pacific Division yes sir this is your host H Mamba and this is Big Daddy G and this is Morning Andrew peace in the Middle East and everywhere Nigger for life. <laughs>